Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I do. Um, there's some really fun finds. Ooh, I'm okay. I'm getting very excited for what Halloween's Giving has in store for us. If you're new to my channel, Halloween's Giving is what I call fall through Christmas. Oh, Halloween's giving this. Halloween's giving this. Now, Halloween's giving is what I decorate for. So I decorate for fall and I kind of leave the fall out, but I add Halloween, I pull it out, I add Thanksgiving. It's all ebb and flow. And then we add the moss. So we're into the Halloween's giving this season. Ooh, ooh. I know, I'm excited. So this is totally random. Some of that is from the dollar spot. I mean, it's from the plus section and some of it is not. So let's just show you what I found. I mean, this, let's be honest, this needs no explanation, right? Uh, it was $5, I don't even care. This is an everyday pillow at my house. Why? Because I have two black cat, well, okay, I have a tuxedo cat who's currently staring me down and I have a black cat who's sleeping somewhere. It's so soft and squishy. I love it. So this is gonna go probably on the couch here behind me. Yeah, we'll get rid of that tag at some point. But we'll put the cat back there. Then I found, oh, glare, sorry, it's evening. This is an LED mist maker cauldron. To me, this just says it is a humidifier right but it makes mist so oh and it says hocus pocus luna i have luna she just dropped a fork and freaked out oh my gosh i didn't realize it says hocus pocus on it and you fill this with water and then it makes mist oh yeah i should i should have seen that it says that if you were reading the box you saw that it's hocus pocus so my Halloween portion this year, I think is gonna be all about the Hocus Pocus and purple and black. How fun is that? And this was $5. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm having allergy issues also. I did not work today. I went to the doctor, but I'm feeling better now. I have an eczema outbreak. Who knew that was a thing? I mean, I get eczema on the regular, typically in the springtime, <clears throat> not in the middle of summer, but we had such a weird spring. I think my body's just reacting and I did a lot of outdoor stuff this weekend and I think I just triggered. Between my allergies and my skin, I think I just triggered an outbreak. So I needed to go to the doctor and I basically doped myself on Benadryl all day. But I did get a prescription for steroids and steroid cream and so tomorrow life should be better. I thought I would share. Sometimes I feel like I overshare, but whatevs. Um, these are not new, but I also don't remember where I put the ones from last year. So, <clears throat> but I, <clears throat> I love these. They're just little pumpkins, but they're made with like, this is raffia. I think they're all raffia. They're just painted. So this is brown, white, obviously a natural. I don't know if they had white last year, but they may have. Anyway, these are going to go into some type of a fall something that, you know, like a centerpiece of some sort. And I need to locate the ones from last year. But I grabbed three because I couldn't remember where I put them. And some of this stuff may have been out last year and just not at my store. Um, but to, this is all new to me stuff. Look at these. So they have the um, Halloween Christmas trees out. I guess it's a Halloween tree. I'm not putting this on a tree. I think I might just set these. Like, I feel like it would just, let's see. Yeah, it would just, I may glue it to something, but I feel like they would just sit. So I got a raven and a witch. Obviously they're tree toppers, but I know, I love them. So I got one of each. Then, um, I know these are not new, so I guess I should take that back. I don't even know. I did my own bagging today. These are not new, but I can't find mine from last year again. 
So these are just little potion bottles, but I have a small little tray. Oh, we don't know. And then I grabbed this size. So I just got the two sizes. I have a little tray that one of y'all sent me, a black cat tray, and I thought, or a shelf. So I'm gonna put it out with some little thingies. So I got the potion bottles and that kind. And then I feel like I saw people hauling these last year, but they were not at my store. And these are glass potion bottles. Like what? And I might fill them with purple and black um, colored water to go with my theme. And I like that they're little because my mantle, since I have a TV hung up, I don't have a lot of vertical space anymore. So these would be super cute decorating my mantle for Halloween. I also have a bunch of decor in like purples and that whole, um, the saturated like jewel tones, which I love for Halloween. So that works well. Oh, I just grabbed this. Um, I'm really calling it Hell Weeks. Hell Weeks. Two weeks. So, not this week that this video is coming up, I don't think. But next week, starting August 2nd. There might not be any videos. I have... On the second of concert, then I have Pelotonia weekend. So if you haven't, if you could please link on the uh, description, in the description box, click on the link and donate to my ride. I would really appreciate it. Um, so I have a concert that I'm going to on that Wednesday. And then Friday night we have the pep rally and we have the opening ceremonies for Pelotonia. And then Saturday is the ride. And then Saturday night, I'm working at the shoe, which is where the Buckeyes play for Billy Joel, Stevie Nicks concert. And then the following Wednesday, I have, I think it's Def Leppard, mm, some metal, heavy metal stadium tour thing. And then two Morgan Wallen. So I don't know. But anyway, when I'm working at the football stadium, I can bring a clear plastic container to get ice water. Um, and I also bring drink mixes and put in here so that I stay hydrated because it's gonna be hot on the field. We are out on the field working. So I bought one of these because it's plastic, it's clear. And if I lose it, I don't care. It was a dollar um, because I think I left my last one there. Oops, but whatever, a dollar. So if you're going to Ohio Stadium for a game, you can bring this in. It's clear, it's plastic. That's the rule, clear plastic. And they have um, water dispensers uh, throughout the stadium. Sorry, I'm itching. I'm just itching everywhere. I'm, I don't have bugs, I promise. I'm just itching for my eczema. Oh, this is definitely new. So it's like a book, right? But it's that ceramic stuff, unfinished. And I have, I think I'm gonna spray paint it black, the whole book, right? And then I have oil paint pens from Timu that I can paint this and write something on it. Oh my goodness, I don't know. And then I can like color the pages or whatever. So I thought that would be something fun to do, my, rece my receipt. Um, in the fall section, because they have my fall section out too, starting, look at this ribbon. I am dying. I love me some navy blue, let me just tell you. So I grabbed two because I wanna make a bow. I love me some navy blue and I wanna do this color on my front porch for fall. So it's navy blue with, hi Luna, you need to go out, buddy, we'll go out in a second, with some greens and lighter blues and rusty and orange. I just love this for fall. Oh, now look at it, this, and I might even figure out a way to like do something with these. I love this earthiness. So I grabbed two of these. They are three yards or nine feet each. So I need two to make a to make a proper bow, if you will. This is something that is 100% new to me. It was $1.25. It is a mechanical 3D wooden puzzle. Guys, it works. There's screws involved. This turns and it moves the wings. What? For $1.25. And it's all, come here, Luna. It's all pre-cut. What? 
So I grabbed one for me to try and then I grabbed one for my coworker who has a little boy that I think will enjoy putting this together. She's gonna have to help them and they do need some tools, like a little mini screwdriver that I think you should get at the Dollar Tree. What? I know. So I grabbed those because, you know, if you know, you know. I don't have a whole lot of stuff, but it, like I said, it was new. This, I'm not sure if it's new or not. You'll tell me in the description below, but it says my favorite color is October, and that is a true statement in my life. And I don't know, I love it, but also I love that I can just paint this and do what I want and make it my own. Um, again, with the bow. I, I don't know why everything has to have a bow. I feel like they've run out of things to put on these stuff, so they put a bow. It's irrelevant. This is metal here which is really cool. I also could just sand this down and paint over it, but I also thought this could be fun to paint it black and do something. I don't know, but I like that. My favorite color is October. It's true. And then this is going to sit on my mantle because it's the perfect height. And it's, I love it. And look at this color. I love that color too. And those, I might have to buy another one so I can pop these little pumpkins off. There is glitter involved because the Dollar Tree, there's glitter involved in everything. But I think this will be really cute just to mount up under my TV and then decorate around it. So I grab. Gotta get our thumbnail, that. Maybe the cat will be the best. Okay, just a couple other little things I picked up. Oh, so I grabbed more of these because I don't know where they go. I think, I don't know. I, my, I don't know. I don't throw them away, so I don't know. But they're great chip clips. I love them for everything. So I grabbed those. Also, if you're a crafter, especially like me with needle crafts, like cross stitch or embroidery, and you have your floss on hoops, I hook this onto my little cart and then I hang my hoops from here. It's probably where they go. They're all over my house. I use them for literally everything. So I just picked up, I always try to pick up a pack when I feel like I'm running low. Um, for cross stitch finishing, I don't know. We're gonna see if this I can make this work. I love that it's kind of modern. It will sit up. It has like the easel bottom to it. It's glass, but I can always take the glass out and put a cross stitch, ooh, excuse me, put a cross stitch in here and I just liked it. I will see, it goes into my finishing stuff and eventually it gets used. Same with this. Um, and actually, please hold. I'm coming back. This may fit in here, right? It's a Christmas thing, but I can put it out whenever I want but it may fit in this frame and I love with the gray, which I can also just paint if I don't like it, but this may end up in here because I think measurement wise, it would work. Let's see, oh yes, oh yes, see? And give me plenty of border around it. Yeah, this is good because this is square and this is square and I will take the glass out of that. Um, for framing. I know some people frame around the glass and I have done that once or twice where I use the glass as my template. Here's my concern. When I pack them away, if the glass breaks, it ruins my project. So I gotta be super careful with the one I've already done. But I have, for this, I will probably just cut out a piece of foam core or a piece of mat board that I already have. And all I have to do to that is mount it around it and I think it will look super cute. So, I always try to pick up things when I see them finishing stuff. All right, we just have a couple more things. Nothing of any craziness, however. They did come out with some fall, and look, I love it. It says fall on his little hat. Some fall gnomes. I've been putting these on my desk at work. I have a little shelf, and I put these up there. They had a girl, and they had the boy. Um, but I just liked him. I liked the plaid, to be honest with you. So I grabbed this, they're so cute. I do love me a gnome. Um, also could decorate him, put some on his hat. You can always also pull his hat down if you want, just to do something different. Like I love a gnome that has a bent hat. And for my decor, that kind of fits a little better than that. 
do you do you guys you do you and then the last thing i got well this was for me just because i use sharpies to mark things but for sarah my niece is a high school english teacher so her kids they don't get like a school supply list she per se she tells them what they need they bring in what they need but she said they're always running out of pens and pencils she does have a budget she ordered a bunch of pencils and stuff but i told her as, and i usually do as i see them i pick up packs of pens that are inexpensive and then she just has a bucket and she fills it with or like a cup holder and she fills it with pens she does ask the kids to return them but you know how things go so um these are an eight pack for a dollar 25 i think is fantastic luna what do you need come here come say hi come here come here she's freaking out Anyway, so I grab all these like back to school shopping. If I'm at Target and I see that they have the packs for 99 cents, I grab a couple here and there and I just send them into school for her and she puts them to good use with her children. So that is everything. Come here, come on, come on. You wanna say hi to your peoples? No. All right, I gotta take her out and I hope you enjoyed that super quick. Halloween's giving this haul. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm really excited to see the new stuff that they're bringing in. I like the new colors and I'm kind of excited. Um, it's slowly trickling into all my stores and I can tell you that in my dollar spot or my um, plus section, like this is new. They brought in um, the cauldron is new. This is 100% new. I would know if I saw this last year. And like I said, new to me, it might not be new to you. Um, but yeah, they're bringing, so as things are leaving the um, plus section, they are bringing in different stuff. I'm like, sometimes in the regular Dollar, sec dollar Tree, it's the same stuff, they just reset, restock. But I've noticed the fall hasn't even really come in yet. And Halloween, I've already seen one set of stuff come and go, and now they're working on some other stuff. Alrighty guys, well I hope you have a great night and I will talk with you later.